your win. Um, obviously, this is months. your first win in the UFC now. So, how uh, how amazing does this win feel for you? Yeah, well, I think I'm just trying to process it, uh, taking it in, but it was unbelievable. I, I don't think you, I think you go your whole career experiencing fights, and then you come into a crowd like that and you experience something like that. It's just a, it's a whole other level, something I'll never forget. Uh, but it's given me a newfound uh, fire to continue. You know, I want to do that in, a pack, in front of a packed crowd, yeah. I want to headline, um, I want to be fighting the best guys in the world, so that's where I'm looking. And how was the crowd? I mean, how did that motivate you? Obviously, there was a it was a long fight for you. Um, you know, you really got through that, um, mainly down to the cardio. But how was that having the crowd behind you? Yeah, the, the, don't get it wrong. Uh, um, that last thirty seconds, I was burning. Mm -hmm. The body was on fire. But that crowd, you know, once you get that that raw and that spirit behind you, you know, you, I felt unstoppable. I think I could have pushed another a minute, but I wasn't going until he stopped. Um, I actually think I put him out to us. And I think the ref was out a bit slow on it, yeah. um, but obviously not to his fault. Um, obviously he couldn't see, it was very quick. Um, then made a good call and stopped the fight. But yeah, I was just super, super excited and super stoked. Uh, this wasn't just you know your first win in the UFC, but also the first win for South Africa in the UFC since 2005 when Trevor Prangley uh, managed to get a victory. How does it feel to you know, represent your country and your colors here in the UFC and scoring a big victory like this? Yeah, well look, for South Africa it's the first uh, official win by a homegrown South African. Trevor Prangley was living in America at the time, although he was South African. But uh, this is the first win for a South African boy that's fighting out of South Africa. So it's massive for us as a country, and I can tell you now they're going absolutely crazy at home. Rugby's we, going on too. We unfortunately lost the semi-final, so I think the country would have been down. But the backing that I had coming in here and the support and the love, I can guarantee you the crowd of that country is going absolutely berserk. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud that I could stand up strong for them today and I could give them something to cheer about. In the second round, it, when he was trying to take you down, it looked a little bit like your hand was by the fence and Dan Hardy sort of commented on it, it looked like a fence grab. Could you sort of just commentate on it? Yeah, look, I mean, that was an unfortunate thing. I did, I did grab at the fence and uh, I think it was just a, a, a reaction. Um, I, I still went down, I don't think it was changing anything. You know, I managed to turn the, turn the takedown on the floor. Um, you know, uh, kind of I, a moment. I, I apologize, it's not something that I intentionally did. I think it was just something that happened at that time. Um, but I, I think I proved that I deserve to win. Um, you know, I, I pushed hard and I stayed on top and I controlled the fight for the last two rounds. What was going through your mind in those last couple of seconds? I knew I'd won the fight. I knew I dominated rounds two. Uh, I think one, he was on top a lot more. I managed to get the reversals in round one, so I kind of had given it to him and I knew that I had to, I had to get uh, two. But once I got into three, I started to feel physically strong. You know, my, my gas tank started to kick in and I started to feel like I was really dominating the, the, the fight. And uh, I wanted to go for the finish. I wanted to, to make sure I ended it. And I think it was like three seconds or so before the end of the fight. That's massive for me. Hopefully we'll get a, we'll get a bonus for that. Do you think maybe he burned himself out in the first round? Because he looked a little bit slower going into the second. Um, the second round, I don't think so. I think he was so strong in the second. I worked the body really hard on the floor. I threw a lot of body shots, a lot of elbows to the body. Um, that, big, that big body kick hurt him in, in round two. Um, I think that slowed him down quite a lot. So it, it was a case of me. I knew that he, he was very physical and very strong. But I knew that if I, if I worked his body, I would slow him down. Uh, how close was the arm and guillotine in the first round? Look, they were both they were both very deep. Um, he just fought the angle really well, um, and, I, and I was slipping out and I was falling out. Uh, so I didn't want I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to chase something that was gonna was gonna get away from me, um, and I just made the, the better choice to let go and get up. Could, could the referee stop the fight a little bit sooner? He seemed to take a lot of unanswered blows. Look. From what I could see, I think I put him out twice. Um, he did go out twice. But you know, that's such a difficult thing to call in there. You know, uh, in that moment, punches are flying, uh, heads bouncing off the mat. The ref's just trying to get the best position he can. Um, and I think he, he made the right choice at, 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 that, at that stage. I think that he, was, uh, he, he wasn't defending himself very well. Um, maybe he could have stopped it sooner, I don't know. You know, I can't, I can't call that, I'm not, uh, I'm not the ref. Um, the ref made the best possible choice. Um, we just hope he's not, there's no serious injury to him and uh, that he recovers well. So, so when we spoke to you early in the week, you said that uh, you know you had a couple of holes to patch up from the last fight up until this. You know, a couple of things to fix. Do you feel like you know we got to see you know, the 100% get from Cleland tonight? I think you saw. I, th I think you saw the best that I, ha I had for now. Um, I do think I'm better than that. Um, I think something that people haven't seen is on me on my feet 
and uh, I need to get my rhythm. It's something I'm working really hard to start a lot faster. But um, I know that once I'm comfortable on my feet, I'm extremely dangerous. Uh, a lot of people haven't seen me uh, thing, and, th and that goes right down to EFC. Uh, you know, I, I haven't really had the opportunity. I know I'm really good on top. I know my ground game is good, and I, and I can compete with these guys. I know that if I get on top, you know, he was, he's a Brazilian black belt, um, and I, I managed to uh, to dominate from the top there. I'd like to show. I'd like to show what I'm capable on the feet. I know I got knockout power. I know I got dangerous feet, and um, I, I just got to get the timing right, and I got to get comfortable. Um, I, I was a lot better mentally. I think that showed tonight. Um, I think I, I showed you the old the old Gareth and what Soldier Boy is and, and who he is and the type of spirit that he carries with him and uh, you know they just continue to grow the more confident I get in there the bigger and louder he's going to get um, you know I always try and remain humble uh, after fights um, I try and uh, keep within myself you know that's when, when this, this sport can catch you and, and really damage you but uh, tonight was good for me you know, I think I gave the Irish fans something that they really wanted to see, and that was fire. Um, and I came and I fought like uh, I fought like uh, I had nothing to lose. And uh, you know, I got a great win for myself. Is there anyone that you like to fight next? Oh look, uh, uh, for now, I just really, uh, I really want to go back and uh, work on the things that I need to work on. And then we'll just, you know, we'll talk to the UFC. Um, you know, I'd like to climb the ladder and. Uh, I'd like to uh, uh, go to the top, that's everybody's aspiration, but uh, one fight at a time, you know, whatever uh, Joe puts in front of me, that's what I'm going to have to take. That post-fight uh, chat that you, you got the Irish to join in with, can you kind of explain the how you like you said, it's a bit traditional? Yeah, look, uh, Soldier Boy is, uh, is obviously the name that uh, has stuck me so well in South Africa. Um, it's, uh, it's built a massive brand for me in the country. Um, and that's, uh, that's something that just came about in one of the fights. And it's just stuck with me, um, you know. Uh, it's the uh, uh, the crowd love it back home, and uh, you know I got the same response from from Dublin, Ireland, which is truly an honour to me. Um, and and it's uh, I'm extremely grateful and humble that they would they would honour me in that way. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, hopefully it sticks with them and it uh, it creates some fans. Thank you very much. Thanks.